So COVID-19 or novel coronavirus is a viral infection which is caused by a coronavirus which uh, will predominantly involve the lung. Now coronavirus, it is a not a new virus, it was already seen previously also causing a huge health disaster. Like in 2003, it was causing severe acute respiratory syndrome epidemic uh, caused by the SARS coronavirus. And in 2012, we had MERS, that is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome uh, epidemic during 2012 caused by the MERS coronavirus. And now in 2019, again, we have a pandemic uh, of coronavirus, what we call it as COVID-19 disease or novel coronavirus disease caused by an organism called coronavirus, which is similar to that of the SARS coronavirus. So the, uh, the uh, virus is named as SARS-CoV-2. Now this virus predominantly cause respiratory infection, causes chest pain, dyspnea, breathlessness and uh, cough uh, while it presents and it will cause a severe acute respiratory distress and finally death of the patient. Now along with the diagnostic kit that we have that is RT-PCR in which we use a reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction to diagnose. Uh, it is important for us to identify the radiological features as well. If in case the, the number of patient outnumbers the number of kits that, is, that are available, then we will have to use a radiological method to diagnose as well. So it is important for us to know this. Now, the first thing that we have to see is that how it exactly it appears. In a chest, whenever it infects a lung, it in infects the peripheral aspect of the lung. It will not involve this central portion. It can involve, but in the later stages it involves. The most commonly it involves the peripheral aspect of the lung. And whenever it infects the peripheral aspect of the lung, it will not involve the upper half. It usually involves the lower and the mid zones are commonly involved. So it involves the lower and the mid zone and then peripheral aspect of the lung and it will less likely it will involve the perihilar region of the lung. And then the most important feature is that it will not have pleural effusion. There will not be pleural effusion that is a fluid in the pleural space will not be there. There won't be any lymphadenopathies, mediastinal lymphadenopathies are usually not seen. And there is no pericardial fluid collection will not be there. So it will be present as a diffuse consolidation. That is consolidation is nothing but the air space is filled with fluid. So it, if the air will look blacker, if it is filled with fluid, it will look more whiter. That water is what we call as consolidation. It will appear as consolidation. Now, the consolidation will be usually bilateral. Bilateral consolidation, that is bilateral involvement of the chest is common. And whenever it involves, it can have bilateral consolidation. And it can, it can be a nodular appearance also and nodular with cavitation is also possible but the most common presentation is ground glass opacity then the consolidation and rarely it can have nodular or nodular with central necrotic area also might be present along with this presentation there should not be any pleural effusion normally whenever there is pleural effusion we see the blunting of the cp angle by the fluid but we will not see that in this there won't be pericardial uh, effusion. If there is pericardial effusion, we'll see well-defined border of the heart. There is a well, uh, very clear-cut border of the heart, which is which will not be seen here. And there won't be any lymphadenopathy. And there is no subpleural sparing. Some diseases will have subpleural sparing. So this is having a peripheral involvement, but there is no subpleural sparing. So in an imaging, we can see a nodular appearance or nodular with cavitation. Cavitation again looks black because air will be filled in it or it can be having diffuse consolidation mainly involving the peripheral zone and the lower zone involvement. 
bilaterally symmetrical involvement of disease. If we see one of the patient's x-ray, so this is the chest radiograph of a patient who had traveled to Wuhan or in China where the, the pandemic was started and three chest radiographs were taken on day zero of the symptom and day four and day seven. On the day zero, we can see some consolidations in the lower zone. In the day four, we can see some consolidation in the mid zone. The lower zone was predominantly in the periphery, whereas the mid zone was having even in the the perihylar region, the consolidation was present. But on day seven, there was no consolidation in the perihylar region. So this is how we uh, detect in an X-ray. But X-ray findings may not be seen sometimes, uh, but has, the CT might have given the findings. In SARS, in 2003, the SARS, the XA played a predominant role, whereas in, uh, in China, when the pandemic started, uh, mainly CT uh, was playing a major role in the diagnosis of COVID-19. X-ray had less role because X-ray is uh, less sensitive compared to that of uh, CT. CT can pick up the early changes. Now the CT will have some specific changes. Now again in this image, first thing is we will see that the lung should look blacker and if in case there is any fluid which has entered the lung, it will look whiter and that's what we see in this area. This is an abnormal lung. We know that this is an abnormal lung. This is an abnormal part of the lung. Again here, this is an abnormal lung. This is abnormal lung. So one thing we have to notice that all the changes are predominantly in the peripheral part of the lung. The central part is not involved. And the other difference that you have to see is that there are two type of changes. One is called as a ground glass opacity. We call it as ground glass opacity. See, this is what we call it as ground glass opacity. We can see the lung has become whiter but we can see the vessels passing through it now this is an example of consolidation in which lung is looking whiter but we cannot see the vessels passing through it it's a consolidation so but the predominant feature that we see the most common feature that we see in covid 19 is this ground glass opacity 86 percent of the cases will see ground glass opacity some 60% of the cases we will see consolidation and they will be having peripheral distribution, involvement of bilateral lungs will be there and then they will be predominantly lower zone predominant. So this we can see the heart whenever we see the heart it is considered as a lower lobes. So lower zone predominance is seen in case of the COVID-19 uh, and also we see that the lung is going till the, the chest wall. There is no fluid which is present uh, in the pleural space. So the absence of pleural effusion, absence of mediastinal lymphadenopathy, absence of pericardial effusion, along with that ground glass opacity or consolidation, bilateral lung fields, lower zone predominance, peripheral in distribution. This is what is the finding of COVID-19 in the CT. Now, if you compare a radiograph with a CT. This is a case in which we can see a peripheral ground glass opacity. There is whitening of the lung. With that, we can see some vessels passing inside, telling that it is a ground glass opacity, peripheral in distribution. And whenever there is ground glass opacity, it may not be seen in the chest always. So in this area, corresponding area, we are not seeing any changes. The chest is appearing normal, whereas ground glassing is seen in CT, suggesting that CT is better uh, in detection as it has more sensitivity compared to that of the chest X-ray. This image shows the progression of the disease in which we can see that there is diffuse ground glass opacities, which again progress to diffuse consolidation and patient could not survive. And this is one more uh, image CT image in which we can see that there is bilateral con the ground glass opacities which progress to consolidation this is a uh, image of the the previous radiograph the same patient again the patient could not survive 
Now this is one more uh, image which is showing that in on the day one we can see that there is ground glass opacity on the left lower lobe whereas this image is again showing that the ground glass opacity has become increased and it has become more dense more towards consolidation and there is certain new ground glass opacity forming on the contralateral chest as well. Now, the disease is progressing it might become worse and the patient might have diffuse involvement once the diffuse involvement is there the patient might may not survive now this is one more uh, example how the covid 19 is having similar appearance as that of the sars 2003 the virus is also similar and also the image finding we can see that the bilateral ground glass opacities that was seen even in the sars and now we see even in the covid 19 these are the findings of the COVID-19 that is we have a peripheral involvement, the lower zone predominant, the ground glass opacity is predominantly seen, then even consolidation might be seen, rarely nodular or nodular with central necrosis might be there, no pleural effusion, no pericardial effusion, no mediastinal lymphadenopathy, there is no subplural sparing. So, this is COVID 19. Thank you.